Hey, Church Pastor Thomas here. I'm just leaving the city council meeting on Tuesday night where I got a chance to open up the meeting in prayer. It was honestly a very nerve-wracking time, but very exciting. I got a chance to just lean on my Bible and be quiet and let God speak. Today during our news, we're going to take a look at three separate things. We're going to look at a night of prayer that we've got coming up. We're going to look at our difference maker. We're going to look at our Nicaragua trip and we've got welcome lunch coming up. Let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, that was four things. There's a pretty good chance if you've been attending Restored Church for a couple months uh, that this is the space that you are acquainted with. But we actually have another space that we use quite often. Why don't we hop in the truck? Let me drive you down there because uh, these 40 year old legs, 45, these 45 year old legs don't feel like walking. <laughs> This building the octagon now it's not eight sides i tried counting one time i got up to 16 and i just kind of stopped so uh, we're going to call it the octagon it's also our office center and has in a really great open lobby space that's important because it gives us a chance once a month to have what we call a welcome lunch that is a chance for us to get to know you so whether you have been at this church for a week you have been at this church for a couple months maybe even a couple years and you feel like we don't know you well then come have lunch with us. Come sit down at the table with us and let's eat. Let's give you a chance to ask some questions. Let's give us a chance to kind of get to know each other. So um, March is coming up. March 3rd is the first Sunday. So 1230, we'll be down here. Register online at restorechurch.net. If you uh, happen to forget to register, we'll still feed you and we'll still talk to you because we those Jesus kind of people. Let's get to know each other. There's a prayer night scheduled for March 2nd, but I think I need some help to kind of clarify, like, what's going on. So why don't we call Izzy, get her. She is part of our executive team. She's on our executive board. I know that she has been instrumental kind of putting this together. Um, so why don't we give her a call? So... I'm calling you to get some information on what the prayer night that's scheduled for March 2nd is. So we have prayer nights, uh, the first and third uh, Saturdays of the month. Um, Wait, hold on. So it's a normal thing that happens, the first and the third? This is every single month? Yes, yes, yes. So on the first Saturday of each month, there is a teaching of one of the types of prayer just so we can learn more about it. And then um, usually towards the end, we uh, we pray. Is there any sort of registration or anything that needs to go into coming out on Saturday for prayer? No, no, just show up. Okay. So from 6.30 to 8, you don't have to be on time. You don't have to stay the whole <laughs> uh, You can come for 10 minutes. That's great. Yeah, like check it out. I mean, on the night on the first Saturday where we have uh, a teaching you might want to stay for that uh, you know but that's gonna be maybe 30 minutes um, no uh, nothing to be afraid of no one's gonna put you on the spot make you pray out loud make you pray for everybody you know not until the last maybe seven or eight years uh, I struggled to pray out loud uh, I did a lot of praying in my mind, uh, and then I've come to realize that that's just me thinking a lot. <laughs> the Lord knows, knows my thoughts, but he, he asked me to pray. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so learning to, to just pray, and it's just a conversation like you and I are having right now. There's a pretty good chance if you were scrolling through the what's happening at Restored Church email that came out this week, you know, the one that comes out each Monday around 10 o'clock, that you notice we have a few mission trips scheduled, one in June to the DR and one in May to Nicaragua, which is the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. 
If you've been thinking about it, if you've been talking about it, if you've already registered for it, well, May's coming up. So we're going to have ourselves an interest meeting on March 17th at 12.30 in the Octagon. Remember, that is our office building. March 17th at 1230. If you even have the inclination, this might be something you or your family are interested in attending. How about we see you on March 17th at 1230 and we talk about it. This week's difference maker is our youth member and our kids volunteer, Abby Copeland. Abby started coming to the youth group with a friend and very quickly made it her own. Abby attended any and every event the youth took part in, which meant she soon became a volunteer in our, our kids' classrooms, even though she was in a walking boot. Abby is patient and kind-hearted to all of our little kids. She has adjusted her family's schedule to fill a needed spot at the early service. She gets the huddles on time and does so with a giant smile. Each child that sits and plays or reads with Abby feels safe because of her loving and joyful spirit. God has gifted her to make others feel welcomed, and we're so thankful she has put that gift to use in our kids. Thank you, Abby. You truly are a difference maker.